Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I have a video on my Outlander. Um, I actually have a little story behind this one as well. Um, it might look similar to the one I got in my last video, but it's actually a whole different planner. Um, the one that I received in my last video, I had gotten this inscription. I don't know if you can see it. It says Gigi Visha. And um, it was in the cursive font, and I asked for the pen bold, and I had only realized it like um, a week or t a week or so later, I believe. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I contacted Chic Sparrow and I asked if I could change out because um, I had to re resend them the planner so they could fix it. So I asked if they could do the Jitney red color instead because although I love the Sojourn Tan, I um, I guess I wasn't expecting it to be as pebbly as it was, um, which I still loved, but I'm definitely more of a smoother leather kind of girl. Um, so I asked if they could do that and they said yes. And um, yeah, so I just received this one back and I'm so happy with it. It's so soft. Um, the smell is completely different from the Sojourn Tan. And as you can see, it has like, um, let's see if we can get a good picture. It has like a sheen on it and it's really smooth there's really not any pebbles at all and it's still floppy but it's definitely not as floppy as um, the sojourn tan so let's just get started I have my little charm here that I made with a couple of charms from Michaels um, some bookmarks down here and a, um, a couple more charms from Michaels hanging on the side there so when you open it up, I have these um, dashboards. They are from Martha Plans on Etsy. I really like her shop. I definitely recommend you checking her out. Um, also, I wanted to show too that this is super soft. Like the inside of this Jitney Red is softer than the Sojourn Tan was. It's really nice. So um, I have one of these sticky little clear pockets from Target Dollar Spot, and I just have some ephemera on there. And then I have my first book, which is my uh, from Paper Penguin Co. And I just put this vellum card paper over it. <clears throat> and then, so this is like my, um, this whole book is my journal. So let me just say that. But um, this is more of just journaling about my day or an event or stuff like that. So um, this is Tomoe River paper. And I have just the personal stuff covered up. Um, you know, I don't want people to see that, but as you can see, I put some pictures up here from my Polaroid zinc printer and I just did some watercolor. Um, and then I let my daughter kind of watercolor on here and wrote about her and her lovely tantrums that she's going through. And then I took some watercolor and I took, um, let me show you the book I used. Took scraps from this book here. Um, cut it out and then stuck it in there and colored them. I thought that looked really cool. And then this one it was from uh, our Disney trip we went on and again just stickers and some watercolor and pictures of me and my family at Disney. And then I journaled about it. So that's all I have done in this book. Um, this is all fairly new so most of the books are not filled out yet but with how I'm going they'll be fills out pretty quickly. So that's the back of that dashboard. Then I have here, which I love so much, my vintage junk journal from Amity Bloom. I was able to score this and I am so excited about it. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, she made a couple of these, um, really not that many and they sold out really fast and I was able to snag one and I hope she makes more of them. Um, they're really pretty. So. Um, yeah, let's just get started. I have a pocket here, and this is just a vintage card that um, card, excuse me, that has my in case of emergency information on the back. So I'm not going to show that, but that's what that's for. I've got another little sticky spot here with some vintage washi, and then you can see she did like cute details, like um, some of the pages on the edges here have those little punch outs. Um, so this page was blank, and I this is one of the pages I've uh, journaled in so far. Um, and yeah, this wrapping paper was actually the wrapping paper that she wrapped the book in, so I stuck it on there because it was really pretty. 
Um, and then her little note, stuck it in there. Um, then this page was blank. Um, and then I just stuck one of these in here. Um, but she put pretty things like this fabric you'll see throughout it kind of stuck in there. And then let's see. Here's a, a pocket that she made, some pretty paper. Um, this is this was blank and this was blank with the pretty fabric she put on there. So I went and journaled in there. And then this was blank and there's this really pretty book page here that she put in there. So I just added some fabric washi tape. I've got some little, um, this is where I had journaled a little bit and uh, just stuck this pocket in there, tipped it in, and then this is when I received this book. So I saved the wrapping paper and stuck it in there. And then I think that's all I've journaled in so far. The rest is just the pages. So ledger paper, tea dyed paper, pocket here, really pretty paper, pockets like everywhere. I have this little postcard that I got that's really old that I thought it was cool, so I just tucked it in there. Um, each one of these journals had these little envelopes in there, and mine I just stuck some of my ephemera in there. And some more blank pages, pockets, some book pages, tuck spots. More fabric, I love this fabric. Tuck spot, and then the back of it, I put another one of these with just some ephemera. So, and then I made this folder out of just scrap of paper. And on here I just have, you guessed it, more ephemera. So I've got a sticky thing here from the Darker Dollar Spot with some tags in there, and just some like scraps and papers and stuff that I might wanna use. Um, I have my pen holder here, and then I have my Coeco calligraphy pen, which I absolutely love. And that fits perfectly in there. Then the next one, I have another pen holder, and this is the Tombow brush pen. I like that one a lot too. And another one of those vellum papers. And then this is the uh, Tomoe River paper, but just blank. The first one is that uh, grid paper, so this is blank paper. <clears throat> so I just have all kinds of things in here kind of making it my own little like junk journal if you will I just covered up some of the stuff that I didn't want to show but um, you know I made my own pockets and stuck stuff in tipped stuff in um, here's another little pocket here journaling and here I've got a bunch of just pretty cards um, and then this one with a tipped in card here as well. And that's the end of that book. And the back of that's really pretty. Okay, and then my last book here is um, from The Crafty Chi, um, which I really recommend. I love her shop. She always sends like goodies and stuff and she's really fast shipping. I really like her shop. Um, so again, just that vellum paper. I had a couple other things stuck to the page before I decided to put vellum on these. Um, but I think it looks kind of cool in the background there. So this is um, the onion skin paper. So in here, I just have been playing around because I love the crinkliness. I didn't think that you could put watercolor on this. Um, so I was just using it for like handwriting practice. And then I saw somebody else's video. Um, and they had watercolor and I was like oh my gosh and that made it like super crinkly and really awesome so um, this is basically just playing around I watercolor I do practice my handwriting and just quotes and stuff like that so that's all that is and that is the end of that book and that is my journal so I absolutely love it um, and I hope you guys like the video and if you have any questions comment down below thanks bye